We're in Palmdale at the Grace Boxing Club here with Byron Martinez, who's the coach of a new phenom a boxer, a Gabriel Rojas, actually the new national champion for the Silver Gloves at age 11, and you're his coach. Tell me about it. It's exciting. Well, first of all, um, Gabriel, he's a very talented boxer, you know, 11-year-old kid. The past seven months, we've been training very hard. He hasn't taken a day off, six days a week training very hard. He won uh, seven championships in the past seven months, and uh, the latest one, which was Saturday at the finals in Kansas City, Missouri, he won the National Silver Gloves. Now, you've been a boxer for 23 years. You've seen a lot of things happen inside and outside the ring. Have you ever seen anyone this good at this age? Actually, uh, Gabriel is the only national champion that I ever trained. Everybody else always made it to the, to the, I mean, to the finals, but they never got the title. And Gabriel, at 11 years old, you know, he made it. So I'm very proud of him, yeah. 23 years in the game, you've been a fighter yourself at one point in time. So how do you take that fighting experience into the coaching ranks and make Gabriel a champion? Well, actually, you know, uh, I, what I learned and, and what he has learned, he, he's a better fighter than I am because at his age, I couldn't even make it that, long, that far. You have him at 11 years old right now, but how long has he been fighting? Because I know a lot of folks, a lot of parents and such, probably wouldn't want their kid fighting at such an early age. He's been fighting for about two and a half years. Yeah. And uh, two and a half years for the talent that he has, he has done a lot in two and a half years. Because he's also a uh, junior Olympics champion in 2007. Well, here we are with the champ himself, 11-year-old Gabriel Rojas, coming off of a national silver gloves victory. How does it feel, champ? Good, I'm very happy that I'm the four month champion and I won the district, state, regionals and the nationals. I worked very hard and to try to win this championship and I won it. Talk a little bit about your style of boxing. I guess you're a counter puncher? Yes, I, I like to um, attack when the other opponent um, throws a punch. And pretty much I like to stick and move. Has it really sunk in that you are the best in the country? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about winning, and it's pretty cool. Do you try to intimidate your opponents anyway? I just look at them, like, I just smile. It, they'll try to do things to me, and I'll just smile. <laughs> just kill them with kindness, huh? Well, the strategy seems to be working off for you, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Here he is, the proud papa himself, Art Rojas, and uh, you've got to be excited about what your son was able to accomplish. Talk about it. Well, I'm very, uh, very proud. Very proud. Um, there is a lot of kids out there that won't do what he does. Um, as far as uh, being tough, you know, he's, you know, he's way tougher than me. That's for sure. He's uh, very disciplined. Wakes up at, um, wakes up at six in the morning every day. Go, goes, does his three-mile jog. Comes back to the gym two hours a day, Monday through Saturday. Is it too soon to look ahead, or are you still relishing the victory? He's pretty good. Um, the plan for him is to become world champion one day. That's what he wants to be. He also, he also talks about being in the, in the Olympics one day. Okay, now that he's won the silver gloves, which is just the mini version of the golden gloves, where does he go from here? Well, from here, okay, uh, we have plans to take Gabriel to the, to the junior golden gloves. That'll be the next step. And also the junior Olympics are coming up. Uh, Gabriel Rojas, 11 years old, fighting in the 85-pound weight division. He's the tops in the country. It doesn't get any better than that, fighting right here out of Palmdale. All right, that's a wrap for sports. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for that. Hey, some good news for you on the job front.